Hey there everybody, this is RTS Charge here with another video review, this time of the McFarlane Toys Halo Reach Elite Officer. Series 2! Finally, right? Yeah, uh, sorry for the lack of Series 2 stuff so far. Just had so much stuff going in, going on. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is the box. I went to Target a few minutes ago got four figures including this one and a shirt with mash on it sorry I like mash best show ever keep your thoughts to yourself if they are against it okay so this is the box uh, 26 moving parts new character in four languages and yeah lead officer series 2 yay and from the toys, here's the back. Um, yeah, so the other figures that, yeah, the other, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. We've seen this before. Not this very figure, but the box is basically the same. Um, yeah, so that's the box. See you next product review. Bye. Hey everybody, this is RTS Charge here, back again with the second half of the review of the Elite Officer. Try saying that a few times fast. I don't know why, just do it. Anyways, um, I like the figure. And just has the generic problems all Elites do. So, start off with articulation. There are two ball joints on the neck, one at the base of the head, one at the base of the shoulders. There's a ball hinge on the shoulders, one, same thing with the knee, I mean, elbow, yeah, that thing. And there's also one sort of where your watch would be. It's sort of up your forearm, not exactly where your wrist is, but close to the wrist, I guess. And also the uh, fingers, they, the, the two fingers, they open and close. There is a ball joint, I believe, on the uh, waist. The hips, they move. I believe it's, uh, it, it just rotates. It doesn't, it isn't a ball joint. Just sorry. Uh, the forward knee is on a ball hinge, and then there's a ball joint up here, sort of. Um, behind the shin guard, there's a ball joint there. So, um, that's your articulation. Uh, now for the features. Well, actually, before I start on that, I guess the details. Um, it has a lot of them. It's... I'd say it's a brand new sculpt. At least in most parts. I mean, there are some places where it's the same. You know, like the head. I think. Maybe. It has a neck guard or something, I don't know. Um, maybe the toes and stuff. I'm not sure if the shin guards are the same. I'm not sure if the thigh guards are the same. But, yeah, I mean, all the armor is non-removable. It's glued on. And, yeah, it's all new. The helmet, it goes on a bit weirdly, I have to say. Well, at least not how you would expect it to. And also, because it is an elite, and because there is no rubber on the rounded feet, it falls down easily. As I was saying. Okay. Yeah. There. See? Um, here it goes on sort of like this. It goes on like that. Oh, here's the uh, neck guard. So I guess the head sculpt is new. So, it goes on sort of like, I, I'm not sure how it goes on, I just got it on like that. It's crooked. His hat is crooked. There, like that. It goes on like that. Not like this, okay? These are not supposed to reach the mandibles. Yeah. Uh, also, it has a non-painted plasma grenade. It's covered in these little hexagons. It's really cool. 
and has a peg hole here, here, and here. And now for the really cool part. You see what I mean? They, they're horrible at standing up. Really? Jeez. Okay. So now for the weapon, the concussion rifle. There is a peg hole on this side, but not on this side. Okay, it does come with a peg, which I just took out. It is a new bendable plastic. Um, yeah, it, which means it isn't brittle and it won't break as easily. I kind of like it. Um, don't know why. It sounds different. Um, yeah, it has really good paint. It's nice bronzish color. It has these little green lines, which I guess is supposed to glow. Hole here. And you know, just covered in texture, nice dry brushing. And yeah. Not sure if you can hear that. Anyways, um. I think that's all I have to cover with him. So, I would give him a 9 out of 10, which with 8 being basically meets expectations. Um, yeah, so, he was $10 at Target and I guess everywhere else, except for Borders, which has him for 15 Weird. Um, so... New sculpt, new weapon, really like the weapon, really like him in general. Um, yeah. The only thing I would really change about him is, I'm sure if you have an elite, you know that they're actually, despite my attempts to make him fall down, they are actually really easy to topple over. And that's because of this. You know, it's just hard plastic. You can make it out of this stuff, okay, or maybe some type of rubber. Then they're then they might have a bit more grip. Uh, also, he has a new uh, mandible shape there. He's he's yelling at the uh, heretics or the humans. You know, they don't like us for some reason. Yeah. Anyways, so, that is the review. I will have more coming up shortly. So, this has been RTS Sarge signing off, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.